Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Testimony Tuesday. My name is Ken Berkey, a lead pastor at Live 58 Church, and this is a good friend of mine, Marty Robinson. That's Marty, Marty with a Y. Uh, and uh, we're uh, Zooming right now, but uh, what we I want Marty to do is just kind of share his story as we're planting this church in Orangeville, California. Uh, Marty was kind of, I knew Marty's story a little bit, but I didn't know that it started in Orangeville. And so, Marty, thanks for being here. And, and uh, why don't you just kind of share your journey from childhood to <laughs> where you're at today? Where I'm at today. Well, thank you, Ken. It is a pleasure to uh, be part of this and uh, part of something great and uh, much bigger than you and I. Um, mm. And I've, uh, you know, through this journey, it's uh, more and more of these things are becoming more prevalent to me. And uh, I think that's God's way of taking me through the journey that I have gone through. Yeah. Um, that's brought me to today. And, uh, but uh, as you were saying, you know, in, in Orangeville, that is where I grew up. And um, a lot of my life that uh, was very, um, uh, very dark, uh, very unguided, um, started in Orangeville. Um, I grew up without a father. Um, and I, my, my story is probably not much different than other fatherless uh, kids uh, growing up in, in neighborhoods that um, they'll, you know, find, uh, find where they fit in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I fit in with the drug crowd, the stoners back then. And, uh, you know, that, that was what I kind of latched on to, um, unknowing where it was going to lead me. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, did things from uh, burglarizing homes to stealing cars to um, selling uh, pot at Andrew Carnegie. Uh, my, my time at Pershing Elementary uh, started in my fifth grade. We moved from North Highlands and my mom got a first house in Orangeville. Mm -hmm. And um, in my fifth grade is really where it all started. And I was in Boy Scouts and doing all the really good things. Uh, my first day of school um, to uh, Andrew Carnegie for junior high, I started smoking cigarettes and that was the start of everything right there. Um, the friends that I was hanging around with were the ones that I, you know, only would really accept me or at least I thought. And uh, so, uh, you know, that, that took me down some pretty bad roads. And, uh, you know, the, when you asked me the other day about this, um, I couldn't help from, um, a passage that uh, Brennan Manning had uh, wrote in one of his books, uh, Abba's Child. And uh, I, I couldn't remember it all, and so I had to look it up myself. Um, but it says, uh, in a quote, in a futile attempt to erase our past, we deprive the community of our healing gift. If we conceal our wounds out of fear or shame, our inner darkness can neither be illuminated nor become a light to others. Wow. And uh, when I recalled that uh, last night, actually I was out mowing the lawn <laughs> and uh, it came upon me and uh, you know, so I, my, the things that I went through can be a gift to others. Yeah. And I think God has brought this situation with the church, Live 58, um, starting in Orangeville, uh, by no accident. This, yeah. this is by no accident. And, uh, you know, but my time there in Orangeville from junior high on was very destructive. Um, 
very dysfunctional, um, a lot of uh, addiction, alcohol, kegger parties, you know, all those things um, that took me down some very bad roads. And uh, uh, Marty, let me interrupt you for a second because y- y- you didn't know that, but that's one of my favorite quotes too. <laughs> it's a powerful quote that it's it's not about being embarrassed about our past or burying it, but it's it's about using it to help others. And just for the sake of time, your whole life has changed around. And so, how do you see how do you see your past helping others now and redeeming others? Well. Um... It, it's been pressing on my heart to get back into, um, and I know I've shared with you before my uh, story of uh, looking across the American River into um, Folsom Prison. Hmm. And uh, um, 32 years later, I found myself looking out. Um, kind of like uh, the paralyzed man at the healing uh, pool. Um, He was stuck in this bad place for 38 years, paralyzed, and nobody would help him, he thought. He was always looking for other people to help him. And, uh, you know, Jesus came along and said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. And, uh, Yes, that was Jesus doing that, but it was, it was you know, that that um, back in June 26, 2006, is when my story changed. From being a dysfunctional, uh, lost, um, broken person to where God, um, he, uh, he said, pick up, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Hmm. And, um, you know, my, my life has never been the same since. Yeah. Um, uh, June 26, 2006, my whole life changed. Um, God has blessed me with so very much. It's, um, I don't know where it is in the old Testament, but it says, you know, do things that are righteous and his blessings will chase you down. Hmm. And, uh, they have, yeah. Uh, they have you. You've seen where I've gone and yeah. and where God has taken me. Um, Two thousand eight was able to marry uh, a true Ephesians woman. That um, just uh, is by my side. That supports me, um, and uh, uh, started a business in two thousand eight. At the same time. And uh, we just celebrated 13 years of marriage as well as 13, um, well, 12 years. And uh, um, the, the company uh, has just grown into a thing. I'm, I'm able to uh, employ seven people today. Um, was blessed with an absolutely beautiful home. Um, all our financial needs are taken care of. Um, you know, when God says that he's got your back, he's got your back. <laughs> and, well, let me, let, let me ask you a question because I, 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 can, I can brag on, on Marty in this respect. It's not bragging like, you know, Marty's great. He is great, but he would tell you it's because of God. And, um, amen. He's very, I mean, the turnaround and, uh, his family, his business, but also his generosity through this, um, is, is, is inspiring. And Marty, I'm glad that you are a part of this journey of of live 58 churches, you know, living out, uh, helping those that need hope. And, and so I'm, I'm thinking about people watching this who are maybe in a situation you were at before, before you found hope, before you got up and picked up your mat. Uh, what, would you, 
what, what hope would you give to them? What would you share with them? Um, never give up. Um, you know, a good man falls seven times and gets back up. Um, my life verse is, is uh, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. And whenever I feel like I'm down and uh, things are not going right, I, I lean on that uh, deeply. And uh, God's word brings back focus for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, from, from drugs and alcohol uh, to the life I live today is, is, is all worth it. Yeah. Um, the hope in that is that anybody can do this. Anybody can give their life to Christ. And um, he welcomes everyone. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's well an said, amazing man. journey. It's been an amazing journey. Hey, uh, again, thank you so much for sharing this, Marty. And you are going to be a huge blessing in Orangeville. I know that because like Brendan Manning said, instead of hiding our past, we use it uh, to help others. And even in this short interview here, I know uh, as people are watching it, it, I love that righteous man falls seven times and gets back up. We all fail. We all make mistakes. But God picks us up. Amen. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. God bless. Thanks, everyone.